Hello everyone, I'm really excited about today's video because today's video is me redesigning my webcomic's main character's hair. So, you might not be aware of it, but I do have a webcomic, it's on Tapas, I'll give you a link below so you can check it out if you want to. But, one of the big problems that I've always had with Nitro's world and my main character Nitro is that his hair makes zero sense. I'm going to show it to you real quick. This is what it usually looks like. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It's something that I came up with because I thought he was going to be a one time only type of illustration and that I would never draw him again. And then he ended up being the main character of a whole webcomic. So I just completely fucked myself with a design that was hard to replicate and that didn't make much sense. I have been waiting for the day that I actually get to get rid of this hell of a hairstyle and give him something better. But the thing is, since Nitro is a character that's poor and that doesn't really care about his appearance that much, I didn't really have a narrative opportunity to get him to get a haircut because it just didn't make sense and I didn't want to just change it out of blue and not address it. But the perfect opportunity arose, because if you're reading the comic right now, you might be aware that one of the big arcs that is coming up is Nitro's brother Hayes having his wedding. And so since he's going to go to that wedding, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to justify giving him a haircut. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm so happy to get rid of it. You do not understand. I have had this webcomic for a year and it's been plaguing me. Uh, let's look at what I'm doing there. So I'm just looking at him and thinking what would suit him and what would work. He's a fairly sporty person that just runs around a lot. And I wanted to keep some amount of length, but I also wanted to give him that something that wouldn't get in the way of his running as much as his current hair actually does. So. I decided that I would give him some form of undercut, which is what I'm trying to work out here. Just, you know, seeing what I think could work best. <laughs> I'm recording this ahead of time, so I don't know yet what type of undercut I'm going to go for, or how far along the video is, but if you've got any of those options that you like best, or that you think suit him best, by all means let me know. It will be fun to compare and see what I actually go with, and what you guys say. One last thing before I just let the video play is I wanted to talk a bit about how you can support people on Tapas, be it myself or any other creator who you like. And yeah, so basically how this works is past certain numbers of subscribers, I think it's something like a hundred initially, you can unlock ads and then you will make a tiny bit of money from the ads. To be honest, it's really not much. I get about 6k impressions on the ads per month and I make probably around 40 cents on those ads so it's really not big money but the good like better way to support people on tapas is by donating of course you can just buy the website currency which is called ink through their ink shop or you can watch ads, play games, take surveys, and gather ink for free, which you can then donate to people or use to unlock the premium series. Because there are series that you can only read if you pay for them. But yeah, that's not most creators. So that's kind of how you can support people on Tapas, and that's why I chose that platform. Because since I have an audience that's a bit younger, I know that a lot of people would not be able to support me financially. And I thought, if they really want to, that would be an idea, that would be a way to do something, even if you don't have much to spare. And it's nice. And also the community is really good, the forums that they have are really nice. So yeah, I like Tapas. Alright, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna let this play and uh, yeah. If you want to see the webcomic, the link will be down below, and if you want to see any more of my art, my other links to all of my social media will be there as well. Don't hesitate to just say hello, comment, give me suggestion, anything fun. Okay, I hope you have a nice day and goodbye!